Well, welcome to my video. This is a video about my 1964 Golfster Cushman. Give you a little walking tour here. Um, I've owned this golf cart since 1999. I run it every summer. I just pulled it out for the winter. And as you know, I have it listed in the Cushman magazine. And uh, I'll do a little walk around here. I've had a complete tune-up done on it. Carburetor taken apart, serviced, and uh, compression test done. And uh, she's a good little runner. And uh, I'm charging the battery up. So I won't run it right now, but um, I hope to uh, produce a video showing it running. But anyways, uh, here's a nice little uh, video, a little walk around to give you an idea what it looks like. She's uh, in, a, in above average shape. Uh, fiberglass is pretty good. It's got some, some rust, but nothing major um, that uh, would do, uh, take away from buying it and, uh, and uh, you know, enjoying it. Uh, definitely a good restoration project, although I don't think it needs much restoration. It's pretty much all original, but some people probably might want to paint it or uh, you know, detail it out. But for the most part, it's original. And uh, so let me walk around here and show you a little more. Um, I, like I said, I've had this since 1999. We run it around our property. I own five acres in upstate New York. And I live out in the farm country, up in Hamlin, New York. So uh, it's a good little runner. She's strong. And uh, let me get over, over the front here. I'm going to open up the hood. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the engine, but we'll give it a shot here. I like it. It's like a nice little car. This is the same uh, vehicle, same Golfster Cushman that President Eisenhower used to use when he went down to Augusta to golf. Uh, I actually saw this at the Golf Hall of Fame in St. Augustine. Uh, I was down there a couple years ago on vacation and this exact model was sitting in the showroom there on display. I walked right up to it and checked it out and opened up the hood and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, we're going to walk over here and look at some of the spare parts. I basically got enough uh, parts uh, to uh, you know, really help you out in case uh, down the line something happens to uh, the Cushman that I have here but uh, here's a spare engine uh, it's an OMC engine and it's the same engine I have in my in my Cushman that I just got done showing you so you've got an extra engine and you've got transmission and gears and extra gas tanks steering column uh, all sorts of stuff uh, you got a steering wheel a um, bunch, of, bunch of other stuff over here parts I'll try and uh, roam around here for you a little bit. But uh, some spare tires. They don't really go with these tires because these tires are have those balloon tires. And mine are in nice shape. Over here I have the original canopy top. And I had those drilled out. These right here were all drilled out and they all fit on the, on the uh, Golfster no problem at all in the original top. Although the canvas is ripped and torn, it is the original top that comes with it along with the apparatus to uh, put it together and um, you know mount it on the golf cart. When I first got this golf cart I did have it on the golf cart but uh, I didn't like it so much so I took it off. So anyways uh, I hope you like this video. Um, whoever gets this is going to be the proud owner of a pretty rare machine and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I know I have and uh, I want to thank you for checking out my uh, video here on YouTube. Uh, this is Mickey Treat in Hamlin, New York signing off and thanks for checking out my 1964 Cushman Golfster golf cart. Thank you. Oh, one other cool piece of information is I have the original owner's manual and the key from the golf course that it actually came from. Um, you'll have to check out my pictures, but I have a key from Midvale Country Club in Rochester, New York, and this was actually used on the golf course as a regular golf, you know, golf cart. So when people took it out, I have the original key and the key tag that it went on, which is sort of cool. And to have the original owner's manual also with it, I think uh, says a lot about this machine.
Thanks.